For this clip, we're going to make a colourful necklace that you can wear. For this easy job, you need some card, a hole punch, scissors, some string or elastic, and some drinking straws. You have a needle, threaded up, quite a long length of thread, and for the first thing, get a short length of straw, push it through, and tie it. I'll show you how to cut the lengths of straws, because with them being plastic, they tend to bounce around a little bit. You have to be careful not to lose them. So I've done two knots on the first piece of straw so nothing else will fall off the end of my string now. Here's the straws. You can probably put two together and hold them fairly firmly. Get them evenly matched. And I'm holding them so that they don't bounce away. There. They make a lovely noise as you do it. Chop them off into the lengths you want. Oops, that's when they go bouncing. That's why I'm holding them between those two fingers. But be careful you don't chop your fingers at the same time. Right, so that's plenty of straws. Now, you might want to think of a pattern as you go along. I'm going to try and make an alternating colour pattern. So I've got pink to start with, so the next one's going to be yellow. And then I'll do another pink one. And then another yellow one. So we've got pink, yellow, pink yellow and then I'm going to put one of these spaces on this is just a piece of card which I've punched some holes in to make it look more interesting so I'll we'll put a punch hole through there I think, I think I'll go back to pink yellow and then another spacer you can make it whatever pattern you like you could make a ne necklace to match all your different t-shirts another pink another yellow and another spacer and can we see how it's starting to look like quite a funky necklace I think now I'm going to change the pattern and do some purple ones because I like purple it's my favorite color one two so I've got three purple ones that'll be about the middle of the necklace for the center of your neck so now I need to go back and repeat the pattern backwards so I've got back to the black I'm looking at one side of the necklace and trying to copy it. So back to yellow. Now it's going to be pink and then a spacer. And hopefully it'll look nice when you put it round your neck. Uh, right, pink, spacer. Now back to yellow. Another pink. Another spacer. And we've nearly finished. Back to the beginning. Uh, pink. Yellow. Oh, it's yellow first. Then the pink, and then a last spacer. And we finish off with the yellow, pink, yellow. And because I'm using elastic, you'll be able to tie this one off. If you haven't got elastic, you'll have to make a long necklace that'll go over your head without hurting. Right, I don't need the needle anymore, so pull the needle out. Back to the beginning and look at that for a pretty necklace. That'll just fit. There we go. That's how to make a colourful, funky necklace.